Now wait, there's an allegation in a lawsuit that was just filed in court that Rudy Giuliani was selling presidential pardons for two million bucks a pop and splitting the money with Donald Trump? Shocking. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, if this story was about anybody other than Rudy Giuliani and Donald Trump, we might be skeptical. Here is the new reporting by NBC News. Headline, Giuliani accused of offering to sell Trump pardons for $2 million each in new lawsuit. And that article begins... A woman who said she worked for Rudy Giuliani during the last two years of the Trump administration alleged in a wide-ranging lawsuit that Giuliani, the former president's personal attorney, discussed selling presidential pardons and detailed plans to overturn the 2020 election results. Now let's shift over for a second to some reporting about this in the Daily Beast. Noelle Dumphy is the name of the woman who has filed this lawsuit against Rudy Giuliani. Dunphy claims Giuliani told her he was able to break the laws because he had immunity and asked if she knew anyone in need of a pardon because he was selling them for two million dollars, the complaint states. He, Rudy, told Miss Dunphy that she could refer individuals seeking pardons to him so long as they did not go through the normal channels of the Office of the Pardon Attorney, because correspondence going to that office would be subject to disclosure under the Freedom of Information Act, the complaint states. Okay, now let's go back to the NBC News reporting. Giuliani denied the allegations through a spokesperson, quote, Mayor Rudy Giuliani unequivocally denies the allegations raised by Ms. Dunphy, Ted Goodman said in a written statement, Mayor Giuliani's lifetime of public service speaks for itself, and he will pursue all available remedies and counterclaims. I actually agree with Rudy's spokesperson that Rudy's body of work speaks for itself. We'll talk about that in a minute. The article continues, Hours before he left office in 2021, Trump pardoned 74 people and commuted the sentences of 70 others. Now, with respect to Rudy's body of work, Giuliani's New York law license was suspended in June after a state appeals court ruled that he made demonstrably false and misleading statements about voter fraud in the 2020 election. He sought to defend himself against other election-related claims made by an attorney disciplinary committee in Washington, D.C. in December. And that D.C. attorney disciplinary committee said he weaponized his law license in a failed election fraud lawsuit in 2020. And of course, there's this. Last year, attorneys for Giuliani were informed that he was the target of a criminal probe Target is a term of art in the criminal law. It means a person the prosecutor intends to indict. Rudy was a target of a criminal probe in Georgia looking into efforts by Trump and his allies to overturn the 2020 election results in the state. The prosecutor in that case, that would be District Attorney Fonnie Willis, said charging decisions would be revealed this summer. And friends, when I heard this reporting, these allegations of Rudy selling presidential pardons at two million bucks a pop and splitting the money with Donald Trump. You know what the first thing I thought of was? Remember this little ditty from the January 6th House Select Committee public hearings? Jared Kushner played a key role in White House pardon free-for-all. 
And here is how the New York Times reported it. Jared Kushner, former President Donald J. Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, was featured prominently in videotaped testimony saying that he was engrossed in pushing through dozens of pardons at the end of the administration and dismissed threats of resigning by White House counsel as whining. Yeah, Jared Kushner said, y you know what, White House counsel is just whining about these unethical practices in the Oval Office. Don't bother me with your whining. I am busy pushing out pardon after pardon after pardon after pardon. Now, I'm sure Jared was just doing that out of the goodness of his heart, not for two million bucks a pop. Speaking of pop, uh, the president did give Jared's father one of those pardons. You have to wonder if, you know, Jared just threw that one to his pop for free. And friends, what of Rudy's claim that this woman, Miss Dumphy, never worked for me? I had nothing to do with her. How about this interesting little tidbit from Miss Dunphy's lawsuit? The complaint filed by Miss Dunphy says Giuliani constantly phoned Dunphy and demanded to approve her own phone calls. Quote, during February 2019, Giuliani's habit of calling her obsessively continued, including approximately 34 calls on February 1st, 2019, 19 phone calls on February 2nd, 2019, 44 phone calls on February 5th, 2019, 32 phone calls on February 6th, 28 phone calls on February 7th, 36 phone calls on February 11th, 50 phone calls on February 12th, 53 phone calls on February 13th, and 10 calls on February 14th, the complaint states. Miss Dumphy? <laughs> I don't know her. She never worked for me. I didn't have anything to do with her. First of all, it's pretty clear based on these specific numbers of phone calls on particular dates, Miss Dumphy has the phone records to back it up. But hey, you know, maybe over the course of those two weeks in February, Rudy Giuliani misdialed Miss Dunphy 177 times. I mean, Come on, who among us hasn't, hasn't misdialed 177 times in two weeks? You know, this is comical. This is laughable. It's absurd. But, you know, there's nothing really funny about it. An allegation that Rudy and the president were selling presidential pardons at two million bucks a pop, and we have the inferentially corroborating evidence of Jared Kushner sitting in the White House cranking out dozens and dozens and dozens of pardons right up to the bitter end of the Trump administration. I'm sure that was just to remedy injustices that so aggrieved Jared Kushner and Donald Trump. Come on, folks. Well, we will see how this lawsuit plays out. We will see if those phone records accurately reflect Rudy Giuliani obsessively calling a woman that never worked for him, woman that he really didn't have anything to do with. Interestingly, I recommend you read this lawsuit that was filed by Miss Dunphy because she also includes some pretty damning text message exchanges between herself and Rudy. So we'll see how Rudy and his lawyers explain that there really is nothing to see here. Oh, there's plenty to see here. And a jury will get to see it all and will get to decide if this is a lawsuit that should result in Miss Dumphy being awarded the, I believe, $10 million in damages she is seeking from Rudy Giuliani. And it sure looks like that is the way a jury is likely to rule. And we know why. 
because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again soon.